Uh, thank you, ma'am. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Dr. Hemant Bedekar, Chairman, Babu Society of India, Maharashtra Chapter. I am going to put in front of you the another aspect of the bamboo. Everywhere now, people are talking about the bamboo cultivation, but I am here going to talk on bamboo cultivation and its relation with the industry so that uh, we can get the better perspective and the potential of the bamboo industry. Next slide, please. These are the three uh, topics or the places where we can see the bamboo. One is the babosa babos, another one is Rhodochalamus toxi, and third one is a little bit closer picture of bamboo which is available in Maharashtra. Next, please. We are, every time, as I uh, earlier mentioned, every time we are told or we are uh, given the idea that Babu can be cultivated, it is environment friendly, this, that, that, that. I'm not going to uh, touch or I'm not going to give uh, keep concentration on the ecological and the environmental factors of the Babu cultivation. Here, we will discuss about the Babu as an industrial crop. Uh, what is the status of the babu? Like, see, in the world, uh, later on we will go and see the wherever the babu availability is there. But for centuries together, bamboo is used as the uh, uh, useful material, maybe in the transportation, utensils and necessary products making for the day or day-to-day -day life, construction of cow sheds to beautiful houses. Uh, irrigation pipes, agarbatti sticks, writing material to paper and pulp, and several uses. In general, it has been always told that in case of bamboo, there are 1500 proper definite uses of bamboo. And these 1500s are the types. And in each type, you may have the variations in the uh, products. And hence, one can say thousands of the bamboo products can be manufactured with the, with the use of regular bamboo. This bamboo is available in India from very long time. Since Rama's period, we are uh, uh, observing that it is uh, mentioned in our ancient literature regarding bamboo. It may be Mah uh, Rama, it may be Krishna, or it may be later on in Mahabharata also, or it may be some other places also. So, along with India, China is the another country which is having very ancestral mentioning of the bamboo in their literature. Uh, but in industrial way, how it can be utilized, immediately we can observe that there are several uh, Uses are given in our ancient literature. We, we have seen that the babu can be used for the cow sheds, houses, and so many things which I have mentioned earlier. But why it is that useful? It is only because it is excellent substitute for wood. The whole bamboo or the processed bamboo can be used for construction purposes. What is processed bamboo? The processed bamboo is we do some processing on it. Some chemicals are used for the preservation of the bamboo and then it is amalgamated, the two or three or many pieces are amalgamated together. Then we can make the plywoods, we can make the uh, flooring material, we can make the lumber and so many things. So uh, either whole bamboo or the processed bamboo can be used for the construction purpose. The bamboo composites are very much important and the, uh, it is nothing but a processed wood, as I earlier mentioned. So the bamboo composites and processed wood is replacing the flooring material as well as the various types of the particle boards and plywoods. In addition to that, nowadays, the kitchenware uh, instruments or the kitchenware material, uh, tableware, we are uh, getting from bamboo and it is excellent uh, for the uh, substituting the plastic materials. So that is another use which is coming in the very near past. Furniture is made since a very long time. I have, when I had been in China for some time since 2015, I have seen their old type of the furnitures or the, especially the chairs and tables. 
and still they do are those are using those are manufacturing that kind of the tables and chairs another important uh, factor is agarbatti sticks I, we are going to discuss little bit uh, uh, in detail about the furniture making and agarbatti sticks that's why i am not pushing any uh, putting any emphasis on that this just at this moment why it is like this sir it is uh, it is uh, one of the another factors of the bamboo which we, which has to be mentioned that it is a fast growing grass available as fodder of wild animals we can see or uh, we are uh, hearing many of the news that they, due to the wild animals uh, our uh, crops are damaged and this and that especially in case of karnataka maharashtra border then uh, some uh, some places in uh, madhya pradesh and all those areas and some places in uh, manipur and those areas also why it is like this because we have lost or we have reduced the area under bamboo in our jungles and that's why the wilder animals which are depending on uh, these bamboo leaves and the uh, the young sticks as a fodder those are deprived from their food and that's why they are entering in our fields so that that's why you know it is a fodder of wild animals next please bamboo as an industrial crop why or how it can be utilized various handicraft products of day to day use are produced from bamboo uh, everywhere you go in uh, india as well as in the world everywhere you can find out one or other home required equipment or say the utensil is produced from bamboo in india we can uh, uh, get various kinds of the baskets for using in our houses as well as using in our day to day businesses recently the toothbrushes and kitchen tableware as i mentioned earlier use and throw type of the kitchen tableware is available or these are the products available with a little processing and completely replacing the non degradable degradable plastics our friend uh, uh, a toothbrush maker our friend mr shinde he always asks us the question that please ask your 10 years ago toothbrush where it is lying and you will understand that why he is asking the question it is only because after 10 years or even 100 100 years our toothbrushes are not going to degrade and that's why he is he has given the solution of the toothbrush uh, bamboo toothbrushes so that it can be replaced for the non degradable plastics another very nice aspect or very big aspect is high value calorific uh, high calorific value is provided by, uh, by waste of the bamboo or crushed bamboo for energy production and can be used as energy production may be in the form of cooking or methane generation cooking gas generation or methane generation industrial alcohol for the briquettes pellets as well as electricity uh, development it saved the use of natural gas or crude oils this is one of the largest sector where we can use the bamboo industrially and that's why this is very easy to use bamboo in this sector and that's why bamboo is an industrial crop with the little processing and making composites with other products what is composite many people may ask me the uh, uh, the definition of it composites are nothing but amalgamation of two products together and then they form it as a composite so with the little processing and making composites with other products restructured bamboo can be produced and uh, uh, we know very well or if we will go through the literature of the indian uh, of the industrial uh, utilization of bamboo and its market value in the world you will find that indust uh, the uh, china has a monopoly of flooring material in the international market not only flooring material they have a lot of things which are uh, exported to many of the uh, uh, the temperate countries it may be in uh, united states or the uh, american uh, continent or it may be european continent or it may be in russia so wherever the uh, temperate zone is there there the flooring material is always used and nowadays most of the flooring material is coming from the uh, bamboo and uh, uh, almost many times now india is also exporting flooring material but china is having a monopoly in this the fiber extracted from raw and processed uh, bamboo 
provides hygienic fabrics for daily wear and socks this technology is available in india for ancient uh, from ancient times there are sanskrit verses which are used by many people in tamil nadu and kerala and they are producing the fabrics are they especially the fibers which can be used as a fiber fabrics it may be for the our shirts and sarees and all the uh, regular uh, wears as well as socks are made from that the plus point of this uh, uh, bamboo fiber is it absorbs the uh, moisture and at the same time it always keep our body cool and that's why it has given more importance now in india or in maharashtra also we are getting the socks manufactured as well as the daily wear fabrics are available now in india next please what are the advantages of the bamboo bamboo is a versatile perennial plantation crop belonging to woody grass family of poesi sub family bamboo soil this is these are typical botanical uh, description that it is necessary that's why i have given it to you bamboo is a versatile and perennial plantation crop this is a most important thing which gives its uh, availability as an industrial crop you can compare over here sugar cane then you will realize or you can compare with rubber or you can compare with all our spices coconut and so many trees like that the bamboo can uh, uh, remain over there in their life for 30 years or 50 years or 100 years also it depends on what kind of the flowering period is given to that particular uh, species by the nature for generations together bamboo has been used by the rural communities in the developing world of food building material cash income furniture crafts etc to support their livelihood uh as i said that uh, we are aware that it has been mentioned several places not only for china and india but all the asian countries it may be thailand malaysia singapore vietnam uh, cambodia laos philippines taiwan south korea north korea and japan all these places are having bamboo as their ancestral uh, gift to them by the god at the same time if you will go to north uh, south america you will find the many of the countries right from the brazil uh, to mexico you will find everywhere the bamboo is available so it is having the uh, ancestral position in our livelihood only thing is that if it you may take it as uh, you, uh, united states or the european countries or some other countries there the bamboo is newly introduced it is not their ancestral gift uh, it is widely distributed in tropical subtropical and mild temperature regions of the world uh, this can be explained in our next slide next please here you can find out at the center there is a uh, there is a, a, the uh, equatorial line is there and above that we can find above and below we can find the blackish or some grayish portion the, uh, all those places we can have the bamboo cultivated in all these areas uh, you, if you will find out in china it is only the part of south china the whole china is not having bamboo but very small part is having china uh, bamboo but they have utilized it very efficiently and very intelligently and that's why we get china as a main producer of bamboo products at the same time you can find out here burma china, uh, thailand vietnam indonesia cambodia and all those countries up to the uh, northern part of australia in case of africa you can find out central african countries there is a bamboo production as well as the madagascar then in case of uh, the south america as i mentioned from the brazil to mexico and uh, the caribbean islands and uh, uh, in case of us uh, you can have it in california florida and that is the south american united states so this is the range of the growing of the bamboo and here all the bamboos are grown and many people are now trying to introduce many species from the other countries especially from china and india and they are surviving on a bamboo next please 
in case of india what are the important states growing bamboo it is available in almost all states except jammu and kashmir but now there are efforts which are going on for plantation and the survival of the bamboo in jammu area kashmir yet it is not uh, planted it is only because it is uh, more uh, or less many a times uh, under the snow and the temperatures are very low so that's why it has been yet is not uh, occupied but all remaining states it may be from himalaya to the kanyakumari and from rajasthan to the northeast uh, northeast uh, northeast country uh, the state of arunachal and manipur everywhere we can find out out of which north east indian states like say saptasarita what we call that is sikkim assam manipur nagaland tripura meghalaya uh, and arunachal pradesh all these states are having bamboo as a very much famous kind of the natural material especially in case of all these states there are several species which are originated in that area then the next area is madhya pradesh and chatisgarh and even jharkhand these three states are having their own natural bamboo production and the species are little bit different than the north and the eastern states but all these four three states we find the uh, the dendrocalamus strictus and babosa babos these two basic indian species are very common then comes the another one why i have kept all these two separately only because it is uh, on, on the basis of the production pattern or the availability or the occurrence like say north east india it is the maximum then the madhya pradesh chatisgarh and jharkhand then maharashtra odisha andhra pradesh telangana karnataka tamil nadu and kerala all these states are having also very nice uh, bamboo cultivation uh, bamboo availability naturally but at the same time we find out in all these states including madhya pradesh chatisgarh and uh, uh jharkhand we find that now bamboo is cultivated in all these states in case of north north indian states yet bamboo is not that much cultivated it is naturally available in case of kerala also it being a small, even though it is a small state but very nice kind of the bamboos are available in kerala then in case of rajasthan and other states also rajasthan doesn't have the original bamboo culture except in Uh, this uh, southernmost part of rajasthan you will get surprise one of the districts of the rajasthan are uh, um, coined their name is coined on the basis of the bas then all is, uh, remaining other states are also small or big uh, in big quantity the bamboos are cultivated next please uh, its relevance Uh, relevance of agroclimatic conditions and babu uh, uh, as, as in uh, in the my title i have said that it is an industrial crop it is it is it should be treated as a crop and whenever we call it as a crop we should think about the agroclimatic conditions and uh, its uh, the uh, suitability of the growth and the uh, occurrence of the various species accordingly type of bamboo to be grown with proper agricultural practices in the respective states like say in case of uh, sikkim or uh, himalayan states of uttarakhand and himachal pradesh we find various uh, different kind of the bamboo sp uh, species and if we will go southwards then we will find the various kinds of the bamboo species so it is depending on the climatological conditions and according uh, as it is a crop it will respond to the agroclimatic condition and hence we get the proper uh, particular suitable species for that particular climate if you will go to central come to central india you will find the many species are there but basically there are four or five species only one is the babosa babos another is the dendrocalamus strictus third is the uh, your uh, dendrocalamus toxi then there is uh, palida is there then asper is there then nutan is there and the several species you will find which are suitable for this climatic condition utilization of uh, uh, at the same time we can find out or we can uh, go through the uh, literature or go through the uh, uh, the uh, the characters of the bamboo which are suitable for the uh, uh, utilization in the 
industry and hence the uh, bamboo industry and bamboo resource uh, mobilize resource mobilization is most important thing utilization of resources in the same agroclimatic zones identification of industries is most important thing because you know if you have a tulda bamboo then definitely its major utilization will be in the uh, your agarbatti sticks if you have asper bamboo then definitely you will have the utilization in the uh, form of its fresh or processed type of the shoots and that can be utilized as a food or any other type of the bamboo like say the uh, stickers or bamboo saw bamboo and so many others those are majorly can be used for manufacturing of the plywood or say lumber or veneer or uh, uh, even the uh, the flooring material so we have to find out and we have to there are discussions or there are resources available in the country and at the same time the uh, the uh, various engineering colleges or the people have shown that which bamboo can be utilized industrially for a particular purpose and on the basis of this we can have to identify the industrial locations like say in case of madhya pradesh we have the asper nutans uh, tulda uh, not only in madhya pradesh madhya pradesh then uh, the chatisgarh jharkhand and part of assam and uh, bengal we find this asper uh, on very large scale so asper can be utilized on very large scale for the uh, babu shoot industry babu shoot industry is a very big market in the world so we have to try it unfortunately yet we have not uh, taken care of the babu shoots on the large scale or the as an industrial product but we have to go to, go for that then importance of multi locational trials and appropriate development of research organization as well as training facility this is important only because in a different we have almost around 180 species available with india all 180 species may not be suitable for any type of the climate so we have to find out which varieties are suitable for on the particular type of the climate as i mentioned earlier so hence it is necessary that we should recommend the varieties according to the climate but for this we have to have some research done and that can be done with the multi locational trials and appropriate development of research organizations as well as training facility should be available so multi locational trials will give us the idea that in this location you plant this species it will give you the economically viable yield or it can be processed in the industrial product uh, which is economically viable and at the same time we have to have the research organization which will provide all this information and uh, uh, at the same time the training facilities training facilities is another part in case of the agricultural research as well as this uh, utilization of bamboo in the industry that for everywhere we have to have the training facility the focus should be on employment generation use of the resources of the zone and foremost for the construction of the uh, contribution to the gdp and the, the national exchequer employment generation is the most important thing because bamboo is one of the best employment generating uh, crop and which can the employment generation can be given or can be provided right from the village areas like say cutting of the bamboo employment generation is there transportation of bamboo employment generation is there utilization of bamboo or say a conversion one step up gradation of the bamboo is nothing but the employment generation with some machines which are developed in india still we have the machines which are uh, brought in india and then copied but now people have started producing the own uh, machines which will which can be utilized for indian bamboos because there are uh, in case of china there are uh, there is a one variety of course i am going to mention that in monopodial and sympodial one the monopodial variety is there that is a phyllostichis edulis and that is a soft variety but in case of uh, indian continent almost 99% varieties are the uh, sympodial bamboos those are harder one so the machine should be changed their um, their blades or their uh, consistency and so many things to be improvised for our own purpose and hence the research on the machinery manufacturing also required 
to be done in India. Next, please. Why bamboo is important to India? Industrial plantation crop. I'm again and again I'm mentioning it that uh, bamboo is an industrial crop. In case of, uh, as I mentioned, I uh, uh, put earlier that you can compare bamboo with the sugarcane. But one more a drawback is there in case of sugarcane. Uh, two drawbacks rather can be uh, given in the sugarcane. Sugarcane can be produced with a good water conditions and excellent soil. But in case of bamboo, it can be grown on wastelands and uh, very poor soils. We can grow bamboo and we can improvise the soils. It has almost, as I mentioned, 1500 products. Each and every part can be utilized. The next slide will show you how it can be utilized, each and every part. No waste. Best example, back please, back please. Uh, excellent replacement for wood, the composites have uh, tremendous potential for indigenous as well as export businesses. Perennial grass growing for centuries together, flowering period is very long, after which the whole clump or the plantation stops production and to be replaced by new plantation. It may be 15 years or it may be 100 years. Potential to provide part-time as well as full-time employment to millions of women and men together. Next, please. This is the actual structure of the bamboo. The lowermost portion is nothing but the rhizome. And on the rhizome, we can find out the, stri the striations, which are the nodal uh, uh, no uh, nodes on which you can find out the small buds from which they, we, we can uh, see here three buds are which are coming. Each bud is having the uh, mimicry or the uh, smaller part of the culm or a bamboo itself. It has a shoot, it has a leaf, it has a sheath and the new uh, shoots are coming up. Then we can come to the bamboo stem and culm. Uh, roots are there but those are at the very superficial level because bamboo is not growing more than two meters in the soil. So we can find get the roots also developed over there under the soil. Then we can have the leaves, then the nodes, uh, branch uh, uh, and the branchlets and the main portion from on which it has, all has been taken over there and that is called as a culm or bamboo and the whole bamboo plant is called as a clump. Out of which its internodes are most important thing because it is giving its length, it is giving the strength and so many things. It may be a uh, hollow or it may be a solid. Next please. What kind of the bamboo types? Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yeah. Uh, on the top, running or monopodial bamboo. It, it uh, grows in line. As you can uh, see here, right hand uh, diagram of the green bamboos which are growing. It is one after other it is grown. So it has many advantages. And this... Uh, Running bamboo, you, if you will go to uh, Manipur or uh, Nagaland or uh, Assam, you can find the people are planting it on the border of the farms or border of the houses so that you, they can have the natural compounds. So uh, natural uh, home compounds are the compounds for their uh, property. It has another advantage that it is, uh, it has uh, the very nice kind of the shoots which are coming and uh, shoots are very uh, nice. Uh, same time, uh, same time uh, way, the monopodial bamboos are generally grown straight. And that's why it is easier for it to do the machining of this bamboo. And, but at the same time, we have to mention, uh, earlier mentioned, that uh, in India, only two or three species, especially one species of moso, is available in northeast, uh, northeast uh, part of India. That is especially Manipur, Arunachal, Assam and all those areas. And remaining portion, all everywhere, it is either clumping bamboo or sympodial bamboo. And the second uh, set of uh, figures, we can find out there are clumping bamboos, as I, I have al earlier also showed the picture, that from one single rhizome, you can get the uh, shoots on all directions. And that's why it is uh, um, called as a sympodial. At one place, you can get the many podias. That's why. It is sympodial or clumping bamboo. It will never grow one after other and to go to longer side. And that's why it is a good sign also. At the same time, uh, the this clumping or sympodial bamboos are generally harder. And that's why the machines are to be conver getting converted or their blades are 
of such a kind that it will it will process this harder bamboo next please bamboo types and their cultivation practices plantation to be done taking advantage of rain, rainy season or enough soil moisture can be grown as rain fed crop but it uh, if supporting irrigation is available the yields can be enhanced it uh, at present it is 10 tons per acre available up on many platforms but the potential is up to 40 tons per per acre the row to row and plant to plant distances are decided on the basis of the cropping pattern mixed cropping or agroforestry etc as well as behavior of the particular species bambosa bambos brandise and jejanthemum uh occupy more space after 7 to 8 years and hence to be planted at the appropriate distances of 5 meter by 5 meter or even more than that soil factor along with its cn ratio and soil moisture content are important factors for deciding species for plantation and why it is important that is uh, it is only because it always adds to the biomass and the bamboo is nothing but the biomass and uh, its growth its uh, width its length of the internodes all these are depending on the soil cn ratio and the soil moisture content grows very well with uh, available organic manure added nitrogen help in enhancement of the uh, growth at the same time bamboo can be grown on any of the west lands so for the development of the west lands or bringing the west lands under uh, agriculture this is a one one of the best solutions in the world next please these are the species which are given by national bamboo mission so i am not going to read it you can read it at home next please uh, just now i want to give in short uh, what is, how the bamboo development is going on in india around 200 2000 import, uh, important ba uh, bamboos uh, uh, around 2000 uh, that is uh, uh, ad Uh, um, um, uh sorry uh, 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 year 2000 importance of bamboo was realized by the central government and the initiation of the formation of national bamboo mission started it took 6 years to formulate and was mbm uh, mbm1 and nbm1 was established due to political change ignored could not do any progress but only the cultivation awareness were initiated and it has given the advantage that on very large scale throughout india the bamboo has been started cult getting cultivated very less progress in bamboo industry development because it has not been given for the importance at all again in 2015 16 rejuvenated in the form of nbm2 focused on the cultivation and industrial development still it is not successful industrial boosting it gives there are so many obstacles and various problems are there in farming a bamboo industry right from the finance to the appropriate variety it gives uh, uh, to the forest it is given to the forest department and unable to accommodate other related departments since it should be uh, all inclusive in the form of national board on the line of the coconut spices and coffee boards we are demanding that there should be a bamboo board which will take care of bamboo from all angles next please industrial utilization of uh, bamboo bamboo's whole plant utilization is there almost known 1500 uses from housing to steering wheels of high end cars in case of mercedes and the volkswagen they are producing on very small scale but they are using the bamboo composites for making their uh, uh, steering wheels but with the help of the bamboo composites which can be utilized for the utensils the steering wheels can be produced not only steering wheels there is one dr modak from nagpur he has invented that very very many moving parts in the machines or engines can be replaced with the bamboo composites biomass for as a manure in the form of biochar to cng electricity particle boards coal etc very young shoots of few days can be used for preservation hardly third or fourth day or fifth day shoot can be utilized for the preservation if you will grow it beyond then it becomes the wood and you cannot uh, eat it and below that earlier to that you cannot harvest so uh, it's a very crucial period where we can uh, we can utilize this as a particular uh, babu shoot as a food very good export potential as well as domestic market many people ask for us is it possible to give us shoots but we can't give because we don't have the processing industries as well as the manufacturing also
Bamboo has many medicinal uses. Uses the and bamboo can be utilized in cosmetics and FMCGs like uh, soaps, health products, and food products. It is a best engineering material with high tensile strength. Can be used in the construction. It is higher. It is having higher tensile strength than the steel, and that's why many people are using the bamboo. Uh, in the construction, either it may be incorporated in place of steel, or it can be utilized uh, with the help of the composites. Or a raw bamboo, or the only treated bamboo can be utilized. Replacement to wood and one-time use plastics. As I mentioned it earlier, it is very lightweight, it is flexible, and it is very easily available. And hence, it is having a very important role to play in the industrial utilization. Uh, it has a critical element in the economy, has a tremendous potential to contribute substantially in GDP of India, an excellent example of the circular economy. You can utilize 100% of the bamboo. There is no waste in case of bamboo. It, is, it can be used for one or other purposes. Bamboo is a high yielding, a renewable natural resource. Ply bamboo is now being used for wall paneling, not only wall paneling, floor uh, tiles for paper uh, as well as the tables and chairs and so many things for paper making also for briquettes or fuel raw material for housing construction and rebar for reinforced concrete beams there is one doctor uh, in uh, a professor doctor uh, in uh, the uh, in one engineering college near sangam near he has done his phd he, under him there are Four or five people have done their PhD and they are regularly using bamboo as a reinforced concrete rebars for in place of the uh, steel. And it, it becomes a cheaper resource and it is a uh, sustainable resource. It can be used to produce many items of daily use that are currently made out of plastic or other less eco-friendly materials. Next, please. Here you can find out, you can go through it in detail, its leaves, its flowers, uh, its leaves, its uh, branches, its uh, bamboo, that is a culm, then uh, its buds, its roots, or its rhizomes. And none of the parts is waste. Each and every part can be utilized, and hence, bamboo is another kalpa vruksha after coconut. Next, please. I will give you two examples only, or the three examples of the industries. According to Agarbatti Manufacturers Association, India needs 65,000 tons of raw and coated Agarbatti every year. Present production is hardly 3,000 plus tons only. Huge gap can be fulfilled by mechanical as well as handmade production of sticks, round and square, by own domestic production. For uh, till last year, government of India, with their arrangements or with their uh, obligations, they have given the uh, duty uh, concession on bamboo sticks to be imported and hence in case of all these our bigger uh, ports like Sertuti Korin or it may be Chennai or it may be Navashiva or it may be Kochi everywhere lakhs of tons of uh, hundreds of tons of bamboo sticks are down poured by China and Vietnam and uh, now the government after our several years request they have changed their pattern of the duties. Duties are increased and now there is a scope for the bamboo stick manufacturing in India. You can see the gap of the 62,000 tons per day, per year. And the, if this gap is uh, fulfilled by Indian production, then nothing like that. Because India is the largest user of the Agarbatti, uh, um, Agarbatti uh, industry. Uh, and also it is the uh, largest Agarbati manufacturers in the world. It will provide the employment for millions of hands for Agarbati and the West to utilization. Out of 100 kg of the bamboo produces only 10 to 12 kg of the sticks. This is uh, another fact about bamboo one should keep in mind. The so-called West of 80 to 85 or even 90 percent can be converted into coal or activated carbon or uh, activated carbon along with the vinegar. The coal, there are two types. We can burn it and then make a coal or we can utilize the coal converted into the white coal pellets and the briquettes. Uh, nowadays, it, has, it is uh, getting used in the thermal power stations. And just imagine, I have given one statistics over here. Uh, no, here I have not given, but I will tell you. One kilowatt 
production of the electricity requires 1 ton of biomass briquettes per hour hence 8 hours 1 kilowatt uh, production uh, 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 kilowatt electricity can be produced with uh, uh, with the uh, 24 tons per day and uh, multiply by 365 days so that is it is only for one megawatt so uh, and none of our plants are uh, madam next slide please So none of our plants are having the uh, production of less than 250 megawatts per day. So the huge quantity of the, uh, uh, the um, briquettes and pellets are required. All the pellets can be utilized in the pharmaceutical industries, beverage industries, and so many other smaller industries where all these uh, coal and the, the uh, uh, petroleum products are banned for using for their um, burners. So uh, that uh, that bigger amount is required or bigger quantity of the briquettes and pellets or the uh, burning material is required in, in India. And hence, it is one of the look, having a lucrative industry. And uh, even if you have one ton capacity per day, bamboo uh, pellet production, it has the total utilization within that day. So we have to find out the ways and means for starting our own white coal industries the residue will be zero because it is having only three two percent ash and in case of the coal it is 30 percent so uh, we have observed that in case of the power generation stations the huge himalayan uh, uh, hills are there which are having the uh, the ash is there and they have always have a problem of the fly ash disposal and these flies are also hazardous to the health and that's why it is required activated carbon has good export and domestic market activated uh, out of which this activated carbon the primary use is only for the filtration and the water absorption in case of the our acs and uh, our uh, fridges refrigerators but if we will upgrade those we can have n number of products including our uh, soles of our uh, uh, the chapels from that to several places also it can be utilized for uh, uh, coal and uh, the uh, fiber making and so many things species preferred for all these things are tolda vulgaris green other species like dendrocalamus toxi can be utilized for bamboo set uh, bamboo in agarbatti industry next please uh, dr Hemant? Can... yes Sorry i know i know sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I am, I, I understood, but only this slide I will finish and then I will stop. Okay, sir. Uh, okay. Furniture industry is another option. India produces the furniture of all types worth of 1,40,000 crore rupees every year of all types. It may be steel, it may be uh, wooden, it may be plastic, uh, and it may be any other type of the mixtures of all that. Out of which bamboo pro uh, furniture is 4,000 crores. Even if our production enhanced by 1,000 crore, still it will pro provide employment to a lot of craftsmen as well as boost to the economy. The common man is deprived from the bamboo furniture due to high-end products. So, tremendous scope is there for low-end products for the common man. If all state and central governments decide to use at least 25% of their furniture made from bamboo, a lot of people will get employed, employment and some thousand square kilometer forest can be saved along with the low, a lot of carbon sequestration. In Gujarat, all ashram shalas buy the bamboo furniture produced in dang forest areas and other areas because it is a must for them uh, by the government. And also now the another opportunity is there. The world giants like IKEA needs a lot of furniture. DIY mode is uh, will be uh, will produce on very, very large scale. And that's why the furniture industry is also having uh, excellent uh, 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 the potential for the bamboo development and bamboo industry development. Next, please go on hurriedly uh, moving the slides. In energy sector also I have given, but some I have already explained. Next, please. Uh, types of plantation, as I have already mentioned, only thing is that very, uh, the, uh, it is a part of the cultivation and the uh, industry, but I am not going to uh, give in uh, detail because some of them have mentioned earlier. Next, please. 
these are the various kind of the products which can be utilized and these are from all over the world in this in this product some are from vietnam some are from thailand and on the right hand corner there are three uh, small pictures these are from our gujarat ashram shalas which are used in ashram shalas itself and the users are also the girls which are residing in ashram shalas next please several thing is the so top front is from the uh, philippines and this kind of the furnitures are sold on the footpath in case of vineyard i am waiting this is my dream i am waiting for this kind of the development that the furniture can be sold on the footpath and any dick tom and harry can afford it then at the center the round, uh, down center we can find find all kind of the hi fi products like say the computer uh, uh, the uh, various kind of the things are there and on the right hand side you can find out the flooring material next please and the left hand side it is the uh, tableware next please these are the different kind of the houses which are and the uh, household furniture which are produced in india itself uh, first two slides upper one these are from the uh, manipur the se second slide is there are excellent type of the uh, toilets which are made from bamboo in manipur and those are now getting very popularity and all the remaining portions from the small uh, the simplest type of the uh, uh, furniture to the high end type of the furniture these are uh, again the houses of the manipur nagaland tripura and all those areas next please next please uh, these are the high end furnitures which are available next please uh, the, the, this is a beer which is produced from the uh, bamboo then on the right hand side there is uh, there are uh, various kind of the phytochemicals which are uh, extracted from the leaves and at the center there is a charcoal uh, and a charcoal sticks which ca which are used either to burn or it can be used also for the pharmaceutical and the uh, cosmetic industry on the left hand side the final products are shown of the cosmetic industry at the center several products are shown over there on the right hand side as i showed you the soles of chappals next please there are bottlenecks and i will mention only two bottlenecks one is industry sector has not yet attracted into the bamboo products still they are dependent on the chinese taiwanese and vietnamese machines so i am requesting all the engineering uh, institutions iits and everywhere that you please think about the development of the indian machines we need uh, to use our bamboo on our machines uh, and government and private sector should spend the sufficient money for the upliftment of bamboo sector especially the bank should be liberal to provide the finance to the uh, cultivation as well as for the uh, uh, industry development next please next please bamboo can uh, contribute almost 5 to 10% of our gdp that's why we have to take care of it and there are several things which i have given uh, i'm not going to read it because the time is over next please so in conclusion bamboo create treated as an industrial plantation crop has a bright future it will contribute substantially to our gdp almost of 5% bamboo is ideal for carbon sequestration and good candidate for the carbon credit ideal plantation crop for preventing soil erosion water conservation and so many things has potential to provide millions of hands for part time and full time jobs if manrega diverted for bamboo plantation for development of wastelands it will ensure the climate sequestration for a very long period bamboo used in improvement of handicrafts to construction to energy sector will provide the dollars and rupees together to the nation and to a common man thank you very much i'm sorry that i have crossed the timing uh, but i i was impelled compelled to do that i'm sorry madam no problem sir thank you uh, thank you for a very detailed presentation i'll take up the questions quickly okay the first question is uh what are the activities of bamboo society of india uh sir we are not able to hear you bamboo society of india encourages for the cultivation and the uh, uh, production uh, i mean industry development also we give the, uh, the various kinds of the, um, the trainings then we uh, so utilize it for the popularization we give the uh, various talks we show them 
we have the different kind of the trips and the uh, the people we take the people to the different areas so that they can understand what kind of the uh, bamboo uh, how can we it can be cultivated and it can be utilized next please okay. and uh, yeah we notice you are also offering agri horticulture consultancy services what are the main yeah, types yeah. of services you offer i i give the bamboo cultivation and bamboo industry development as well as for the organic farming i give the consultancy okay and the next question is what are some main trends happening in landscape horticulture today oh but this is not related with bamboo so whether i should spend that much time or whoever wants to uh, that you can he can ask me directly okay and uh, next question is what is the minimum acreage for commercial scale bamboo cultivation viable uh, i was to mention it but that would have been a one another slide that's why i have uh, avoided that but bamboo if individual he wants to plant it then it will he will feel or he will uh, have a problem of selling his bamboo but if they will have 10 15 people 100 people together and they will form the farmer producer company then even if one acre each person will plant still it will get a good market it may be the direct selling in the market or it may be for the industrial purpose but apo will always be a good solution for the community development of bamboo production okay and next question is can you give an example of a successful bamboo commercial cultivation consultancy you have provided i have provided the consultancy of various kinds to so many people for the cultivation as well as for the industrial utilization now there are three four industries which are coming under my guidance in maharashtra near pune as well as in khandesh that is in nandurbar district for the production of the uh, the uh, agarbatti sticks as well as the pellets and briquettes all these things in case of the khandesh and those areas and for the cultivation i have A lot of people in all, almost all uh, districts of Maharashtra, which are doing on my guidance. Uh, I have published one book called uh, in Marathi called as Udyoga Sati Bamboo Sheti, or the bamboo for the uh, bamboo growing for the industries, and that is very popular book nowadays. I am bringing the fourth edition of it, and uh, I have written this book on the basis of the experiences and the farmers' demand, and that's why I have answered all the questions of the farmers in that. but it is in marathi i am trying to convert it into english for the all over india okay and uh, next question what are the most popular bamboo varieties for industrial purposes uh, there are three varieties i can say or three or four varieties in case of uh, as i said agarbatti sticks tulda is the best and uh, along with that the ba bamboo sa vulgaris green and also part of dendrocalamus toxi then in case of the plywood and uh, the timber or all these things there are two varieties which are dendrocalamus strictus and bambusa bambus in devas in madhya pradesh now the there is one plywood industry has come up uh, last year only and which is using 100% bambusa bambus in case of uh, kerala there are two three uh, two three uh, industries are there which are using the uh, Red dot lemon toxi as well as other varieties also. Okay. <coughs> so, okay, I don't see any further questions from our participants. So now we have come to end of question round. Uh, Agriculture information dot yeah. <laughs> dot com likes to thank uh, Dr. Heman Bedekar for a very detailed presentation, and we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting. The meeting will now be closed. i will i am also thankful to agriculturalinformation.com as well as i am thankful to all the listeners and those are requested that you please get my email id as well as the mobile numbers and you can contact me on these mobile numbers you will your question will not at all be denied it will be answered that i will give you assurance thank you sir and uh, i have shared your contact information with our participants they will reach out to you please, directly please madam thank you very much you are welcome sir thank you thank you thank you